Hello fellow Androidians, I'm David over at AndroidSpin.com. For all the soldiers out there that love Android, this is the Mandroid Show. Welcome everybody again to another episode of The Mandroid Show. We appreciate you guys tuning in once again. So let's recap the week in Android. The world's first Tigra 3 quad-core tablet, the ASUS Transformer Prime, has been officially announced. Oh, happy day. Let's pop the hood and see what this baby's officially packing. Officially. It seems that this device is going to be shipped with Android 3.2 on it, as opposed to recent reports that Google was going to delay the release, just so it can have some of that ice cream love on it. So basically, you get it, and you'll have to wait for an update. Oh, not so happy day. Retail prices for the Prime will be $4.99 for a 32GB model, and $5.99 for a 64GB model. So pick your poison, folks. Good holiday gift, and it'll divert plans for a Decepticon invasion. A Transformer joke, really? All right, speaking of quad-core awesomeness, the first quad-core phone named the HTC Edge has been announced. Wow. Apparently, this baby's packing a 4.7-inch display, one gigabyte of RAM, an 8-megapixel camera, and, of course, rocking a Tigra 3 CPU, which offers four 1.5 gigahertz cores. So pretty much the thing can dance. We're assuming that it's going to be released with ICS on it, but more for the details, we'll let you guys know. All right, let's talk a little bit about mobile security here, folks. Now, this was brought on by an email storm we got that was called, Angry Birds Know Where You Live. <laughs> yes, they can. Now, according to Adaptive Mobile, 75% of the public might be giving away their physical location while downloading an app. Now, what's really funny is 1,023 were polled, and 69% of them thought this was a breach of privacy. <laughs> Seriously? You guys know there's a terms and conditions warning right before you download the app, right? Now we can turn towards the developers and be like, Why do you need to know my location? Angry birds don't need to know where I am. But really they just want the info to better target their consumers. It's all marketing, folks. You can't really blame them for that. But what really makes me laugh... <laughs> Shut up! Is that the same people that are complaining about this breach of privacy are the same people that are posting every move they make on Facebook or Twitter. Not to mention they're using the Facebook check-in, Google check-in, Foursquare, whatever. Basically, you're already giving your location voluntarily with these various social medias. Kind of upsets me and it makes me wish an angry bird did know where their location was. <laughs> So yes, this was a little bit of a rant. This was an article written by our head author, Stormy, and I couldn't agree more. Bottom line, folks, your phone is a GPS unit that's strapped to your buttocks, and it could pretty much triangulate where you're located in this crazy world. And if you don't like it, throw away your phone. <laughs> hey, guys, come back! All right, this week in device updates, HTC has announced eight devices that'll be getting some ICS love at the beginning of the year. Those devices include the HTC Sensation, Sensation XL, and XE. Feels so X-rated. The Evo 3D and the Evo Design 4G will be getting some ICS love as well. And running out the list of the HTC Resound and Amaze. So if you're rocking one of those devices, I'm jealous! Now expect some ice cream sandwich deliciousness sometime in early 2012. Alright, here's some pretty exciting news. It looks like a leaked developer version of boot, recovery, and partitions from the Galaxy Nexus has been released by our friends over at Modico. Whoop! Now, of course, this is a developer build, not a release build. It's also from a test Galaxy Nexus, and it's not Odext. So developers, get your hands over there, and hopefully you can get something going for our phones! When I get excited, my voice gets high. But hopefully this helps developers out to get some more ICS out there, because I'm ready for my dessert. Look, I ate all my vegetables. Finally, the awesome looking HD widgets that were only found on Honeycomb tablets are now available for your Android phone. It's so pretty. These widgets include numerous sizes for the weather widgets, different clock styles and colors, and has power bar icons in numerous colors. Pretty awesome stuff. I stayed up till two in the morning the other night, rearranging my home screens because I'm a crazy stupid head like that, and pretty much was a brain dead zombie the next day. Was it worth it? <laughs> Yes, it was. Now these widgets are available in the market right now for you to download for about two dollars or one ninety nine, as they try to trick you. So check it out, download it, and put that on your pretty, 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 pretty screen. There's a lot of pretties in that. Right around the corner from App of the Week, we go to Tweaks of the Week. Lots of ice cream sandwich tweaks this week. MIUI users or MIUI users, tomato, tomato. We have a theme for you that's kind of ICS looking. It's pretty. Now immediately the hook that brought people in to download this theme is a really hot chick in this screenshot right here. That is not the reason why I downloaded. <laughs> Where's my motion? Now it sucks is after you download it, she's nowhere to be found. There's like this whole other chick that has way too much clothing on. So that was a little bit of a letdown, but I think the status bar is just as sexy as that chick. 
<laughs> that was weird. Anyways, guys, check it out. It's a pretty good theme. I think you won't be disappointed. All right, Epic 4G Touch users. There's now a standard ICS Contacts APK file for you guys to download. So now you can get that pretty blue dialer you've always wanted. Well, maybe. So go download the APK file and go call your friends because I know you use your phone just for phone calls. Wait, there's a phone app on my phone? All right, Windows Phone users. <laughs> they don't watch this show. An XDA member by the name of Les Crow has created a skin that mimics the new OS for Windows Phone devices. And we all know you hate your Windows Phone and are jealous of us Android users. It's okay, admit it. I don't know one person that has a Windows Phone. Honestly, I don't. I mean, are they really out there? Eh, somewhere out there. All right, links for all the downloads are in the description below. Check it out. Christmas come early. <laughs> Ever been on the couch and you want to change the channel, but you can't quite reach the remote? <sighs> or better yet, you can't really find the remote. I can't find the remote! Or you took the batteries out to put in the microphone for your camera to shoot a freaking Android show? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, a new device called Beacon is here to help you. Now, this device connects to your Android phone via the Bluetooth and turns that signal into an infrared transmission. Someone please buy that for me. We're soon not going to be able to live without our phones. It's got a pretty clean interface, and it also brings in your TV guide, which it should work for every satellite and cable company in the U.S. and Canada. Now, this device can be purchased from its creator, Griffin, or you can find it at Best Buy for about $69.99. Not a bad little gift for the lazy person in your family. Another gift idea, Mom? Well, all right, guys, that was a recap of the week in Android. You can find all articles in the description below. All articles at androidspin.com. Check out the site. Please leave me a comment down below with feedback of the show. We appreciate any kind of feedback you give us. Of course, hit that like, thumbs up button. Show love with a like. Hopefully, you're liking to love me, if that made any sense at all. Please subscribe to the Android Spin channel. The Mandroid Show is a weekly show that we do every Friday, as well as other videos with game reviews, app reviews, and phone reviews. Check out my original channel, the Film Junkie channel, where I do film news and reviews. Well, anyways, guys, I thank you for watching again. I'm David, your Android Junkie over at Android Spin. Com, and this has been the Mandroid Show. <laughs> you guys came back. <laughs> I'm so happy.